I'm John Garlock. New at 10 tonight, a sea of red shirts filled the multi-purpose room at Schuyler R1 Elementary this evening as citizens voiced their opposition to a major power line project. The power line in question is Ameren's Mark Twain transmission project, which if constructed would pass through six northeast Missouri counties. The public hearing was held by Missouri's chief regulator, the Public Service Commission. Many of the individuals donning the red shirts are members of the group Neighbors United. That group has been majorly opposed to the project since construction plans for the power line were announced last fall. Those individuals, many of whom are landowners, say the transmission lines passing through their land will greatly decrease their property values. Terry Page, a member of Neighbors United, told us her property and keeping it free of transmission line easements are her top priorities. It comes down to property rights for most of us. It comes down to a corporation wanting to come in and take people's land against their will for their own profit, and we just don't think that's acceptable. Although many in attendance showed opposition to the project, a number of citizens spoke about why they believe the project is needed. They say the transmission line will provide renewable energy, which would be beneficial not only to the counties it passes through, but to the entire state of Missouri. Peggy Ladd, a spokeswoman for Ameren, told us some property owners have already contacted her about moving forward with the project and are excited to take the next steps. We have gotten quite a few calls from landowners who are starting to talk to us about wanting to know when we're going to knock on their door and uh, talk with them about real estate. So that's actually happy. Uh, that's good for us to hear. If you weren't able to attend tonight's meeting in Queen City, the Public Service Commission will be, uh, the next hearing will be tomorrow night in Kirksville. It will be held in the Student Union Building at Truman State University. That hearing starts at 6 o'clock. All comments collected at these hearings will help the commission finalize its decision as to whether Ameren has the rights to move forward with the project. That decision is expected by the end of the year.